Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this microchip MCP9808 temperature sensor to measure and spread temperature on the serial monitor. I'll provide you the code. You can get it by clicking at the link, which is below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This MPU9808 temperature sensor from Microchip is by far the best temperature sensor that I have done a tutorial on my channel. This can measure from minus 50 degrees to up to 125 degrees Celsius with comparing to the other temperature sensors that they were going from 0 to 50, 60 or maybe 70 degrees. This, is, um, this has wider range and also in terms of accuracy, this can go up to 0.01 degrees Celsius. So this is very accurate. And at the end of the video, if you wait watching, I will use this to measure the outside temperature at my backyard here in Canada. At the moment, the temperature is between minus 15 to minus 20. So keep watching if you are interested to see the outside temperature. This is the official microchip product webpage. Now the, here is a data sheet and the typical temperature measurement is from minus 40 to 125. And the resolution, selectable resolution, is that it can jump either 0 0.5 degrees every step and will not show anything in between or 0 0.25 or 0 0.125 or even 0 0.0625 degrees Celsius. That's user programmable alert, which is not included in this library that I'm presenting. The operating voltage is 2.7 to 5.5 volts. Operating current, the amount of current that typically it uses is 200 microampere and it has shutdown feature that goes to 0 0.1 microampere significantly uh, reducing the amount of current if the device is not needed in some mobile devices or battery operated devices so you can shut it down and use it only and turn it on only when needed it needs two wire i square c communication and here are the temperature conversion time in some application you need very fast measurement and i have mentioned it at the different type of uh, resolution that you se select this is 0 0.5 degrees Celsius per bit because this is digital and typical is 30 milliseconds, 65, 130 and 250 respectively for these values. When you receive the module, you will be receiving it with this pen header and uh, we have to saw that it... Let me explain the pens. We have VCC which will be connected to 5 volts. We have ground will be connected to the ground. SCL and SDA are for I square C communication. SDA and Arduino Uno will be connected to A4 and SCL will be connected to A5. Arduino Uno and then, then SCL is A5 and SDA is A4. And Arduino Mega, SDA is 20 and then SCL is 21 and Leonardo and the rest of the pins will not be connected. Let me now explain the code. The first line, it says include wire.h. This is part of the Arduino IDE. When you download and install the software, you already have it. You don't do anything about it. This line says include adafruit underscore mcp 9808h That's the header file, which is part of the library. I will provide you the link on the same page that the code is available you click and download it as a zip file you can include it in two ways with your uh, arduino library the first way and easiest way would be to click on a sketch include library add zip library then you point it to wherever you have downloaded the zip in this case i have downloaded it inside this folder and here is the file.zip in your computer, you might not see that .zip, but that is the zip file. Click, select, and click open. Once you do that, it will be part of your uh, Arduino IDE. Then close your Arduino IDE, close this program, and reopen it again. Once you open it, click on File, 
examples. Other fruit MCP 9808, and this is a sketch. When you click and open it, this is what you will see. Line it says other fruit MCP, the same exact name here. This is a class. We are creating an instance of the class which we call object, and that's the name. And this is a uh, constructor that we are including with this. Inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baud. Then we use serial print ln to print the text here. But temp sensor dot begin initializes the uh, sensor and checks it and it will return the library will return true if it doesn't work it will be false here it checks if it is false print this text on the screen which is could not find and this line it says while one it means the program will stay here forever and never go to the next line inside the loop these are all comments uh, temp sensor dot read temp c this is reading the celsius temperature the value and we are storing it in the variable called c of type float uh, you can also change this to something else so the value will be stored in c and this line gets the c and does this calculation which converts it to fahrenheit and stores it in f and this line serial print temp this is just a text because it has double quotation and then uh, serial print c it will print the celsius and then also print asterisk with c and this is a tab extra space log, uh, large space after that we print it in fahrenheit this one says print this text and also press an, a new line ln that's a new line so this all will be printed in one line and here is a function for shutdown template temp sensor or shutdown when you do this you will save the current significantly it will become 0 0.1 micro with c and this loop has delay of 1000 millisecond which every one second it will do all this calculation and comes back currently this is the temperature it shows my heater is on and let me apply some heat using this Mastercraft heat gun, which I bought from Canadian Tire. And here is the weather from Environment Canada. It's minus 15 degrees Celsius. And if you need it in Fahrenheit, that is five degrees Fahrenheit and these are our temperature January 22nd 2019 I'm going to put the sensor outside because the previous uh, sensor that I've tested they were always working up to zero degrees none of them were going to the negative so I'm gonna put this outside the window here in Ajax Ontario we are at the vicinity of Toronto and we will see what is the temperature at the moment but extreme cold advisory very cold snow is there but uh, now going to move the temperature sensor outside the window is a little open as you can see the temperature dropped to 11 let's see and that is the sensor at the moment outside Now it's minus four, let's see. It's now minus 10 degrees Celsius, 13 degrees Fahrenheit.
we got minus 14 and still the temperature is dropping So we got the minus 15 and it can go lower. I'm bringing it back inside the room. And as you can see the module is getting warmer. Let me touch it and see how quick it goes up. 9, 15, 17. Thank you for watching. This was introduction on how to use this MCP9808 temperature sensor. If you have a comment or question, please post it below the video in the comment section. I try to answer and reply. And if you learn something, please thumb up and subscribe so you can get updates 